How do you benchmark a laptop on the extreme level? How about some AC cooling? Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the CPU. As you can see, it's running at 47 times on all cores. So let's go ahead and run a stock Cinebench R15 and see where we score. So stock gets 2005 on Cinebench. Now let's take a look at Cinebench R20. So stock is a bit low at 4667 on Cinebench 20. So one thing to check for is I have this little G-Sync message here and that's because I have G-Sync enabled. It's highly recommended that you turn this off for maximum performance. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run Time and Spy and see what, how it performs. So we got a score of 10,446 overall, 10,457 graphics, and 10,388 for CPU. Let's see if we can beat this with AC cooling. Next up we have Fire Strike. So Firestrike got 23,777 for the overall score, 27,457 for graphics, and 25,142 for physics, along with 11,395 combined. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure the air is cool so that the compressor is running. And then you're going to want to align the bottom vent of the laptop to where the cool air is coming, such as this. Now we're going to go ahead and open XTU and see how our temperatures are. As you can see it's slowly dropping, it's right now at 30 degrees Celsius, 29, and it's slowly dropping. Okay. 26 of okay. it. So the first thing we're going to do is overclock this straight to 5 gigahertz. Okay, so we should be at 5 gigahertz now. And we're going to go ahead and run Cinebench. As you can see, we got 2126 at 5 gigahertz. All right, so let's take a look at Cinebench R20. As you can see, we got 4957. Let's go ahead and try overclocking the GPU as well in Afterburner. I'm going to try plus 140 and plus 600 on the memory. Let's see how it fares in Firestrike. As you can see, we got 25,107 overall, 29,251 GPU, and 26,589 CPU, 11,699 overall combined store score.
as you can see, we got 10,896 overall, 10,931 GPU, 10,704 CPU score. So in conclusion, as you can see, AC cooling can really help you bring out the power of a gaming laptop. The only issue with this specific laptop is my graphics card, the RTX 2080, is a really bad overclocking card. The memory can only hit around 600 megahertz. In some instances, I was able to do 800, but it would artifact. As for the core, the highest offset I was able to do was plus 140, and it barely even survived there. At 150, it crashed after about maybe 10 seconds. As for the CPU, there is a little issue with this specific laptop. The power limits are not bad at 210 watts, but the issue is the VR current limit. This laptop has a low VR current limit, and because of that, it's really hard to go beyond 5.1 gigahertz. And because of that, the laptop scores are a little bit lower than what you would expect. My previous laptop was a Clevo P870DM3, which had an i7 7700K and 1080 SLI. Yes, 1080 SLI in my laptop. I ended up selling that one, but the good thing about that one was I was able to increase the power limits and everything through the BIOS. There was many options, whereas this laptop has no options whatsoever besides multipliers in the BIOS. XTU works, but it's a bit hit and miss. Throttle stop works really well. And the Alienware Command Center, I wouldn't even bother. Just click off on the overclock and use throttle stop. Well, as always, thanks for watching and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.